Jackson. Williams cuts away now. Touchdown, and Florida State's back on top. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Bring Getting it on. pumped up. Mm -hmm. That was actually uh, ACC uh, Digital Media created oh. that hype video. Nice little compilation there. Just for FSU Miami. This Easily. Huge, huge rivalry that we are celebrating mm -hmm. this morning on Second Cup. Yeah. Thank you for joining us here. I'm Kelly Bartoli. Max Paris here with you. Easily, this is the biggest head-to-head -head matchup of the year. Uh, of course, we have Clemson a little bit later on, uh -huh. but that is away. Right. Uh, so this one is going to be a fun game for sure. So as an alum, mm -hmm. as a huge Seminoles fan, do you get more intense about like a Miami game or a UF game? Uh, I mean, it's they're both so great. It's just tough this year because they're at UF, right. so it's a little harder to get as pumped up for you that. You get to feel it at home this year. It, and it all depends. Like, if UF, like when they had Tebow and they were on their high streak, those games were intense. Right. But now UF, you know, they're almost right. losing to South Carolina State or something. So, you know, it's just one of those comparisons where this year it's a Miami sort of, that's the mm -hmm. big focus. Maybe some other year it'll and be the not, uh, UF game. Not only is it big. a home game, it's like a mini kind of homecoming for FSU because Seminoles haven't been home in a while. In a while. This so. is uh, four weeks now they've been gone. They had three away games and a bye week, and it's been a lot of action that's been away. You've had to just watch it on TV, but this one, close to home. I've been doing my research fun. about this rivalry. Oh, good. It goes back to 1951. Mm -hmm. uh, Miami, that's when Miami won the first five games of the Not series. Not great. But FSU has won the last five yeah. games. They are undefeated under Jimbo Fisher. Wow. So that's, that's, that's a pretty big stat. I actually was able to see, I, I've seen the last four, not last year, but before that I saw all, since going to school, I saw all yeah. the UF or UM uh, FSU games together. They've all been intense. I actually got to go down to Dolphin Stadium and watch one of them in Ooh. Miami. I was in uncharted territory. I was with my Knowles gear. Felt a little intense, felt a little out of place. This is pretty crazy. Since 1983, Miami and FSU, when you put them together, they have one quarter of all of the college football national championships. Uh, Miami leads the series cool. 31 to 28. Mm -hmm. So we can see if that'll change. Um, going to be so intense out there. Yeah. Uh, huge, huge game. If you can see it live, of course, those tickets sold out pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, but we're airing it live on WTXL ABC 27. So we got you covered. We got a pregame special beforehand. That'll be at 730. Um, so the game's at 8. What's funny, of course, it's not just the game. There's mm -hmm. so much leading up to the week before, you know. <laughs> Definitely. We a, had lot of, a lot of trash talking a little, little bit. A little trash talking. We had that fun Brad Paisley concert The Brad as Paisley well. concert. There we was the football tonight. flick off and that continues yeah. before the game tomorrow. Um, well, so especially now with trash talking and the internet and Twitter, there's been a lot. So mm -hmm. uh, basically the University of Miami said that they were getting a lot of tweets about the Seminoles. So they oh. made this website. You may remember this from John Oliver. Yeah, John Oliver. This is kind this? of what they created it off of. That's funny. It's called unsolicited FSU fan comments. So you can type your mean comment there yeah, about, about FSU or about Miami, and then you send it, and then it. Okay, so we're going to type something Yeah, here. what do you want to type? Oh, What's your let's message? Type in, oh, I mean, what I would type, though, would have swears in it, so we don't want to do so that. So keep, try to keep it as clean as you can. Kelly, how about you just do one, since you're a little less invested oh. here? Something like, U.M., you know, or a big one, a nice big one is the, is the sucks to be you. Yeah, they have the let's you. do that one. Yeah. Let's do that one. Not suck to be you. Well, it does. It sucks to be you. Yeah, put that ass in there. There we go. Okay. And send it off into the great But then abyss. when you send it, it just, oh. It goes away. <laughs> and it doesn't go to anyone. Thanks for keeping that, that off, off Twitter. Twitter. And then it oh, says, ooh. go Canes on there. Yeah. So, uh, it's a fun little website. It's though. a fun website because, you know, it just kind of pumps it up a little bit more. A little bit more. It gives uh, it a little bit more The intensity. merchandise, I think, is one of my favorite things. That mm -hmm. sucks to be you shirt. I have all seen over that place. all over. Yep. Uh, back for more here, talking about all the championships. Last four games. Um, yep. I love when when it's like specific, this one here. Mm -hmm. When it's the specific rivalry shirts against the one team. Because I've seen that shirt a lot about the with the spear going through yep. and kind of breaking the U. Uh, that one, it's all for, about the, for them. So. You know, uh, I don't Candy like... Candy canes, always sweet to be. That's you get true. that one. You I'm get somewhat, it, you get it. I don't like wearing the Sucks to Be You shirt because then I have to wear the actual... You don't want the logo on you. I don't even you. want it on me. Right, you I, don't want I like the garnet and gold. We're all donned out here. Oh, yeah. Have fun. Root on the yeah, nose. Pumped up for the game. Yeah. We'll see you back here on Monday. With a win.